are here at Six Flags over Georgia. Now it's gonna be super crowded today, but we do have the Flash Pass, so I think that we can get on a couple of their great roller coasters, and let's just see what the day has for us. We just got off of Goliath, and now I'm not one to rant on a park, but when we made it to the station, we still had to wait 45 minutes. The operations were that bad. But operations aside, the ride was super good, had tons of air time, and was a lot more intense than I expected, so I definitely recommend it. Oh! 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 Woo! We just got off of Twisted Cyclone in the front row. That was awesome, super intense, had great air time. That's definitely my favorite coaster in the park. That was awesome. After that, we went and rode the Great American Scream Machine, the park's only wooden roller coaster. Now, I knew that this coaster dates all the way back to the 1970s, so I didn't expect it to be smooth, but I also didn't expect it to be the world's roughest roller coaster. Prior to riding this coaster, I heard that it had some fantastic airtime that outweighed any of the minor bumps you'll experience along the course. Now, I didn't ride in either the front or the back row, cause the front had an obnoxiously long line, and I wasn't stupid enough to ride a 1970s wooden coaster in the back row, so I got in the middle. Great American Scream Machine actually has a really solid layout, especially for an old wooden coaster, but for this ride to even be worth riding riding again the next time I'm at Over Georgia, Six Flags needs to do some major retracking, or this coaster is just going to get worse and worse. After riding the Great American Scream Machine, I sprinted over to Monster Mansion. This classic dark ride is located actually pretty far away from that coaster, and I made it just in time before the park closed the line off. This dark ride was actually super fun. You could tell how old it was, and on every turn, it felt like the boat was going to tip over and sink, but it didn't, and it ended up being one of my favorite rides at the park. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, despite that only being our fourth ride of the day, that wrapped up our visit after we had been there for almost four hours. The park was run horrendously, the line for food was obnoxiously long, same with all the coasters, and the ride operations were the worst I've ever seen, and that's saying something because I've been to Kennywood. And it's not like we didn't even prepare ourselves either. We knew that the park would be absolutely slammed since it was just the second weekend that they were officially open for the 2021 season. So we sprung for fast passes and they honestly didn't even do all that much. I guess they helped a little, but not much at all when you compare to the experience I've had at other parks. I actually really wanted to like this park. They have a fantastic ride lineup, and the atmosphere is actually pretty solid. And the park as a whole looks nice. The landscaping throughout the property is very well done, and even though a few rides could have used a fresh coat of paint, the park actually looked really nice, especially for one that's run by Six Flags. Honestly, despite this park's awesome ride lineup, I recommend that you skip it, at least for a little bit until they can get their act together. Visit some other park in the region, maybe Dollywood or Carowinds, as I'm sure you'll have a much better experience there. And as it stands, Six Flags Over Georgia is my least favorite Six Flags park, and that's saying something after I had an absolutely awful experience at Six Flags Great Adventure, and I visited visited the so-called Worst Six Flags Park in Six Flags St. Louis. And I know that I'm not the only person who has had a terrible experience at this park this year. I know plenty of other coaster enthusiasts who have had the exact same issues that I talked about in this video. And even though I'm sure that this is an unpopular opinion, that is the experience that I had, and that's all I can really talk about. 
Anyways, what do you guys think of Six Flags Over Georgia? Do you agree in what I'm saying, or do you think that this is a fantastic theme park and that my experience was just something different that never usually happens? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like rating and subscribe for more roller coaster content just like this on Hangtime Thrills. I'll catch you guys next time.